Okay guys, I don't get a chance to uh, work on these older ones very much here, but here's an Easy Guide 500, and to do RTK on it, we'll have to go to the setup, wrench there, system, and then GPS, and then change out the GPS setup, go down to RTK, if it's unlocked, of course. And to use Digifarm with this, you'll need to use the generic CMR radio. And all that's correct. And we're going to favor accuracy here. And I do go in here and make sure that we got uh, it set up on COM 38400. And they'll get this port conflict potential. And that's just the speeds that it's coming out as. 1 hertz is fine too. And you don't really need the VTG or the GSA unless you wanted to monitor uh, more parameters on the NEMA string. Continue that, 8 decimal places. And then we'll go back to the... Oh, there we go. And we'll look at our... And there we go. RTK source is RTK. Um, we're indoors here and just got a cord for a antenna running out there. And speaking of antennas, I tested it right away with an AG15. Won't work with that. So it has to be the AG25 or equivalent to uh, the non WAS antenna. Right now it's hooked up to a Zephler uh, uh, antenna I had laying around for a base station actually. But it does the trick, it works. So there you are, an old school Easy Guide 500 running RTK. Thanks for watching, everyone.